Today with Friends of the Rappahannock, we'll be learning about macroinvertebrates, also known as bugs. Nancy Stalick, one of our educators, will be showing you how to look for these bugs in your backyard stream. Are you ready to learn? And my name is Nancy Stalick. I'm the education manager. I have found a faster moving portion of Austin Run. We should have better luck here for macroinvertebrates because macroinvertebrates like more oxygen. And when we have a faster running stream, like you can see here, more dissolved oxygen will be mixed into the water. So it should be a little bit easier to find. And let me show you how I'm getting these. I'm really just taking my sieve and just jiggling the vegetation on the edge where the water is running. That's how I'm, that's how I'm getting my samples. So again, I'm finding a lot more scud. Can you see that little guy? It looks like a shrimp. This one's really big and chubby. It's probably some kind of a scud. Okay, here's a scud. It's a little shrimp-like critter that's moving around. And we'll ID him later, but we usually refer to him as a scud. They look like little shrimp. So we got that. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, here we have a really big, looks like a scud, but I bet you it's a different kind. And when I first took the sieve out of the water, it was jumping. And I think it's done with the jumping. But can you guys, can you see it? No more of the jumping. Come on, bud, one more jump. So we found this bug here that we find a lot, but I will need to ID it. This one that looks like a stick bug over here. And then we have a kind of salamander that I do not usually get in the Rappahannock River. So, so far, we're finding salamanders. These same bugs look like stick bugs, which I'll identify later, and a lot of different kinds of scuds in Austin Run and the ditch leading to Austin Run. Right in the middle of the field, we're also seeing another one of those same animals. So predominantly in this area, at least what we can catch in a kitchen sieve, because we don't have our kick nets, which have far smaller holes, we're seeing this bug, salamanders, and scuds. Oh, there's two in here if you can see them. There's a, looks like a younger one to the front and a bigger, probably older one, more to the back. These are, now I have ID'd them, damselflies. It was very hard to tell in the mud when I had the mud in the sieve here and I had not gotten all my other material from the car because it was a ways away. Once you have your specimens, we found a lot of these salamanders yesterday and scuds, depending on where we were. Then we take our dichotomous key. And these keys are easily available online, but this key is just like the normal ones you would find and you go through the steps. So it goes um, shells or no shells. Well, ours had no shells. And then it talks about legs or no legs. Ours had legs. And then it asks how many pairs of legs, 10, four, three. Um, well, ours had three pairs of legs. And then we ask if it has wings, wings or no wings. Ours had no wings. And then it talks about the number of tails. No obvious tail, two tails, or three tails. Well, ours had three tails, and really what we have a whole bunch of are damselflies. This is our chart that tells us the sensitivity of the animals. And you can see here that damselfly is in the sensitive area. So if we got, um, if we were to do this officially, and the most of the animals that we got were in the very sensitive or sensitive range, and a few of others, then we could tell using biological factors or living things in the water, that the water was of good quality. So right now we have seen a ton of damselflies already, and salamanders, which is good. Yesterday we saw spotted salamanders. Um, and we also saw yesterday a bunch of scuds 
which are not on this exact sheet, but they're they're like semi-tolerant, so that would still be good. But again, we're just doing it by what we have available, which is a bucket, some Tupperware, and a kitchen sieve. Check out our links in the description for identifying critters and additional resources.